Boeing's 737 MAX was rushed into service in 2017, all because Airbus blindsided them seven years earlier with the A320neo. In 2010, Airbus pulled a shock move. Instead of building a brand new jet, they re-engined the A320, slapping on bigger, more efficient power plants and calling it the NEO, new engine option. The change was cheap, fast and brilliant. Airlines loved it. Boeing suddenly looked behind the curve. The A320neo offered up to 20% lower fuel burn with minimal pilot retraining. Orders exploded. Airbus sold thousands before Boeing even had a reply. By betting on evolution instead of revolution, Airbus secured the narrow-body lead. Boeing scrambled. A clean sheet jet would take a decade, so they bolted larger Leap 1B engines onto the aging 737 design. But the 737's low ground clearance forced compromises. Engines pushed higher and forward on the wing, changing aerodynamics and leading to the controversial MCIS system. The MAX finally launched in 2017 but only after Airbus had a seven-year head start. Today, the numbers speak for themselves. Airbus has outsold Boeing in narrow bodies for years. The A320neo dominates global fleets, while Boeing's MAX program still battles legacy issues. The question isn't just about fuel efficiency, it's whether Boeing's late response cost them the narrow body crown permanently. So, here's the debate. Did Boeing lose the crown by waiting too long, or can the 737 MAX still claw it back from Airbus?